Go. Hello everybody, I'm CL and welcome to me reacting to the Xbox E3 conference that just happened like an hour or two ago. I was actually going to react to this live, but I woke up a little late, like halfway through the conference because I stayed up really late. So I'm just going to react to it an hour later, who gives a fuck. Um, I'll be skipping a lot of the boring stuff out. Ooh, it's just starting right off the bat, okay cool. Uh, I didn't set up a live camp like I usually do, like I did, did two years ago, I don't. it's not like I do this every year. but. Oh, look at those 2001 graphics! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be their focus this year, right? It's all just gonna be graphics. They better have games. I mean, I, I love me some graphics, but... I'm pretty sure that's not what, what 720p looks like. Here's 1080. Oh, look at these, this bigger screen! Look at these games! Look at this, it all leads to this. Dude, that's 4K! That's 4... Times the decay. <laughs> I'm kind of excited though. It seems to be two hours long. Is it? Is that? Is this what that is? Is this what I'm doing right now? That's an Xbox. Gotta love it. <laughs> See, I, I'm not. I don't really care too much about Xbox because I don't own an Xbox. I never have in my entire life. But I mean, it's still a cool game that I might play someday. And they really do like their fucking processors, or just like their fancy cinematics of, like, the the stuff you would see from. Uh, hardware making companies where they just they always show cinematics like this, CGs of their stuff being created and it being all cool and shit. Microsoft seems to be going to that down that line very recently. Like ever since last year there was a lot of teraflop talking and pixel qualities and qualities of pixels. That's a guy. Was that Shadow of Murder? No Shadow of War. It's a Halo. It's a car man. Yeah, I forgot to set up. Oh, well, I didn't forget. I just didn't want to look for my camera. I'll set up my camera for tomorrow's Sony conference because, like I said, I care more about Sony and Nintendo than I do Xbox. I'll just do this one with my voice. I can emote through voice. Whoa, that eye was so realistic. Look at that girl. There's so many mega flippies to create such a beautiful looking realistic woman. <laughs> Look at that guy jump! Is that the Scorpio? I don't actually own an Xbox One, so I don't know. It's a big cube. Feel true power! The Xbox controller has always looked really nice. So that's the Scorpio, I'm gonna assume. Looks like the head of a robot. Ladies and gentlemen, the head of Xbox. Well, if it isn't Phil Spencer, it's gonna come out and be real boring. Actually, Phil Spencer isn't that bad. <laughs> Just stop it. Come on, stop it, guys. Stop it. I hope this is a lot of shit and not just a guy talking for two hours. with us here in person, watching on this incredible 4K screen, to the millions watching us around the world or TV or online, and to those of you watching and interacting on Mixer, on behalf of everyone <laughs> Mixer. on Team Xbox, welcome to E3 2017. <laughs> when the renegade group of gamers, creators, and engineers came together to form the original Xbox team and deliver the first Xbox console, we were driven by three principles. Empower money, developers, money, money. gamers, and deliver true hardware and technical innovation. The original Xbox team lived by the mantra, there's no power greater than X. There's no power and greater today, than money. <laughs> we are pre proud to welcome the newest member of pre -proud. the Xbox family, fittingly named Xbox One, X. 
Uh, is that what the Scorpios call? Jesus Christ, these names. It's the Xbox One 10. If we could make Roman numerals. The most powerful console ever made. Sets a new quality standard for gamers and game creators. How many Terrafloppers does it have? 7th, Xbox One X joins the Xbox One and the Xbox One S when it launches worldwide. Oh, it's smaller than the Xbox One S. And it's now, more powerful, supposedly. I'd like to introduce one of our leaders in the Xbox engineering team responsible for making the Xbox One experience great for gamers and developers. Please welcome my friend, Kareem Chowdhury, to tell you more. Korean Chowder? Is that what you said? Kareem Chowder? This guy looks... This guy looks like he doesn't like his life. Here at E3 and represent three years of engineering the team has done to bring you Xbox One X. From the beginning, our focus on game creators. Xbox One X looks like one of those uh, fucking usernames that people do where they put the X's at the end of it. Compatibility and craftsmanship. I'm not getting one. Power, which starts with the specs. Actually, I would like to know how much is it? Because depending on how much it is, I might. <laughs> Be more interested in buying one. Dude, all those teraflops! And 326 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. Dude, those gigabases! These are impressive numbers that are more powerful than any other console. Those are indeed impressive numbers. Because that's what it takes to give game creators the power they need so you can experience true 4K resolution, 4K textures, and 4K assets in your living room. <laughs> I love me some 4K assets. And when we say true 4K, we mean 8 million pixels. High dynamic, That's a lot of fucking pixels, dude. Color gamut, premium sound like Dolby Atmos and 4K UHD Blu-ray playback. Next, Someone sounds real exciting. Give me the price point. The new compatibility was critically important for Xbox One X, and your reaction to 360 backward compatibility has energized oh. the team even more. Really? So right from the start, all of your Xbox One accessories and games will work with Xbox One X. Oh, uh, that guy kind of made it sound like Xbox 360 games were going to be playable on this thing. For the team and me, that wasn't good enough. We wanted more. Wait. Wait. The library you have today will look and play even better on Xbox One X with enhanced visual fidelity, a isotropic filtering. They didn't PS PlayStation do this last year. They said the exact same thing. Even if you haven't made the jump to a 4K TV yet, we designed this product for you as well. Since Xbox One X enables a technique called super sampling, the new 4K games you see on stage today will look better on your 1080p TV than anything you've seen before. I love Finally, super sampling. Okay. We meticulously paid attention to every detail of design as we crafted our most technically advanced console ever. It starts with the Scorpio engine. We okay. use 16 nanometers. It looks like a really nice processor. I gotta give him that. 60 square millimeter chip with 7 billion transistors. Did you really have to tell me the size of the chip? Wide memory bus. This is the fastest, most advanced processor to ever power a console. Our premium design means that every but how advanced is it truly? Component within the console has been architected for maximum power and efficiency. <laughs> you should Our watch a mixer. were so high. An industry standard approach just wasn't good enough. I want to see what it can do. The engine is so intense that for the first and time, it's a liquid console, cooler. We're using a liquid cooled vapor chamber, normally reserved for servers and high end. People are really going to cheer for a liquid cooler? Those things fuck up all the time. An engineer on the Xbox hardware team invented a new power management system so innovative, we named it after him. The Hovis method uniquely optimizes every single Xbox One X at the system and component level to deliver consistent performance efficiently. I'm bored. <laughs> now, it's easy to think. Like this is actually generally cool and interesting. But I wish they but weren't again, showing it in the form of here's the giggle business and this thing has a, a big cooler. console ever. 
Xbox I mean, they could be speeding through this a lot faster. I want to see what it can do. I don't want to know what, what it has the possibility to do. I want to see. I want to see see it. You know this what I'm saying? I want some live demos. And it has been a great oh, it's the smallest I suppose ever. Wow. And build it for you. But how much is I it? Be more proud of our team, and I hope you love it as much. I as could probably be more proud of your team. Now. Someone just made a. Was there a wolf in there? Can do. There you go. This is what I want to see. Exclusive world premiere. Exclusive for the Xbox One. Power to the player. Whoa, look at those rocks. I mean, they look very pretty, but doing textures like this is probably the easiest thing you can do. Come on, let me see some characters. That just straight up looks like a picture of a desert. Camels! Is that a car? Ooh, that looks cool. The texture on that. The suit. That car was sweet. It sure looks good, but cars are really easy to, to make it look real fucking good. Is this actually a game? Do NASA players and stuff like that actually wear uniforms like that that look like straight up spaceman suits? What, what is up with Spider-Man there? That fucking Spider-Man OR. You fucked up, dude. You fucked up. I mean, it looks pretty. But I... I'm taking away my judgment, because I mean, I've seen Need for Speed games that look this good. I think the latest Need for Speed game, to me, looked better than this. But it's probably just the quality of the, the, the video compression from YouTube. Since it tends to do that. Why was that guy steering wheel a Nintendo Switch? It's a Forza game. Yeah, Forza games always look amazing. Please welcome. From the Forza Racing franchise. Please, I don't want to hear some guy talk about Forza for three hours. That stage looks fucking dope, though. In the automotive world, supercars are debuted at international auto shows. Frankly, supercars! Paris, Detroit. But through your passion for racing on Xbox and PC, Forza has become the premier partner to the automotive industry. So today, for the first time in history, a flagship supercar is making its world debut here at E3 in front of you. Oh god, they're gonna bring out a fucking car like they always do. Your partnership with Porsche to bring you amazing experiences, both in game and in person. Porsche oh my god, they always do this. Of racing. And e -sports. I don't want to see that stupid car. Outside of the guarded walls of Porsche. That honor belongs I've to never you. seen this car before. Ladies and gentlemen, too bad I'll never see it again. 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS. 911? That's in bad taste. That was nice. I wonder what kind of mechanism they had to pull the fucking thing of it. Look at it, it's this a car in my video game conference. Of expression of Porsche's legendary design. It features the most powerful road going How many gigabits does it have? How many teraflops does it run though? Does it have a fucking liquid cooler, vapor chamber? 8 million active players across Xbox and Windows 10. 8.5 million are going to fucking play with this fucking car? This specific car? This historic moment possible. Through your passion for racing, the digital and the real worlds are merging in an unprecedented way. <laughs> Emerging! So now, let's take a look at the Porsche 911 GT2 RS in Porsche 911. 7 running on Xbox One X. I'm joined on stage... Whoa, it looks exactly the same. That's a girl over there. Series. I'm Shannon That's McIntosh, double the girl. Professional race car driver and Her name is McIntosh. I'll be pushing the GT2 RS to its limits on the sun-baked streets of Dubai. And I'm Verena May, professional racer and stud driver. I will be fighting ah, to survive classic the May. in the Nürburgring in this Nissan GTR race car. We start with Shannon in her customized... Is McIntosh there related Xbox anywhere to Steve Jobs? Using the power of Xbox One X... She, she, he named his daughter McIntosh, I'm pretty sure, right? And a rock solid it could just be a common last name, though. And 
we have the additional power to deliver shocking levels of detail. Using fucking, I don't wanna, I don't wanna fucking talk about Mixer, I don't care. The intense feel of one of the greatest driving roads in the world, the Hafid Mountain Pass. I love the Hafid Mountain Pass. It's my, it's my favorite driving road in the world, though. But in Forza Motorsport 7, we've reimagined the entire racing experience on all devices. Racing is more immersive and dynamic. Ominous skies roll in as car parts rattle and vibrate. Oh my god, I could care less about Forza. Why do you open with this? Oh, whatever. I know a lot of people do care about Forza. That is a nice hotel right there. Featuring spectacular vistas and massive Dubai. Scale. You can see we've made racing more dynamic and surprising. Dynamic puddles grow as the storm unleashes its fury. It's more thrilling and competitive. Feel the intense heat grease up your tires as you battle. Well, fuck that car. And it's more beautiful and alive. Dark skies open up and change as the sun. I mean, this looks beautiful, but I'll never play it. I have no interest for a Forza game. I'm having no interest in a non carding, non like fun uh, card game. Like, I mean, Need for Speed's the newest ones, and even the old ones were always real cool. Like, the, the speeding didn't feel real. That's why I don't like. I like playing card games that don't feel real. Because if I wanted to drive a fucking car, I would go drive a fucking car. And comprehensive. But I know there's a there's an audience for this, like a really big audience for this, so I'm not complaining about it, honestly, I'm just bored. Like that Lamborghini. Forza Motorsport 7 is an Xbox Play Anywhere title for Xbox One and Windows 10. like me, you can be the first to drive it. So come experience the car or the game. Road going 911 ever made on the Xbox. Stop saying 911. The most powerful console ever made in Forza Motorsport 7. Thank you. I can't believe they didn't give us a price point for the Xbox One X. I hate that name. Okay, is that over with? Give me some good games. I hope they open up that little door over there and it's something different next time. That'd be really dope. Motorsport 7 when it ships on October 3rd. And when Xbox One X launches, we will all get to experience Forza Motorsport. When will it launch? In true 4K at 60 frames per second. My TV is barely 720p, goddammit. Today, we're going to showcase the world's greatest creators with a lineup of different types of games for every type of gamer. It is the largest and I believe the most diverse lineup of games that we've ever shown on our Xbox E3 stage. Okay. Games from creators large and small, games that inspire and challenge us, games that transport us to new worlds and offer us new perspectives, and games that push the boundary of our art form. That's Today, exciting. We will feature 42 games here on our stage. Holy shit, that's a lot of fucking games. Including 22 games with console exclusivity on Xbox. Ooh, wow. 22 games I'm not going to get to play. Every one of these games will play great on each member of the Xbox One family. But of course, they will play best on Xbox One X. Okay. I'm still not getting it. Unless you release a price point and it's cheap. from a creative team that built their franchise on Xbox. In the Tomb Raider. Four no wait. Games worked with us to launch a single-player masterpiece that I played on Xbox 360. That's what now, they all say. I'm honored to bring them back with the premiere of their next work, running in engine in true 4K. Okay. World premiere. Oh, it's a world premiere. Power to the player. Xbox exclusive. Okay, what is this? It's it's Ice Game, dude. I love Ice Game. 2010. What could? I, he said 2010, right? What came out in 2010? Games, video games, probably. A few of them. All right. I'll probably know. I might not know it. To live without hope is is to cease to live. Classic Dostoevsky. The Dostoevsky. I have no idea what this is. That's a frozen guy in the in the ground. He's like, oh, that's a frozen guy. Uh, another frozen guy sitting in the exact same position as the other one. 
Oh, frozen guy number three. Hey, frozen guy, you won't be needing this anymore. Thank goodness you had the exact same exact ammo that I need. Radman? I'm the giant rat that makes all of the rules? What is this? It looks very pretty. It looks real nice. Spiderwebs? Those are... Oh, we just straight up burned those things. Wow. That is a creative... Okay. Get away from me, Mr. Fucking Wombat. Oh, you're a scary fuck. Shoot it in the face. Now it's dead. Oh, there's more. Shoot that one. This is really cool. This feels like the new Doom game. Shoot that one too. Kick it. Jump up. Run. I'm scared. Is this? This feels like a cinematic. Like that. This feels real dope. I've always wanted to open one of those doors. Shoot it. Shoot it. Oh god, my eyes. Close it on its face. Did you just punch that mother? Did you just stab that bitch? What the fuck is this? Well, this is clearly something I don't know. That looks like a really... Is this open world? Because that looks awesome right there. I want to explore this cute little town. The Wombats. The Wombats. It's the new fucking... Call of Duty. <laughs> The dock. What is this? It looks great. A crossbow, really? Did you really have to slide like that? Well, you gotta get your enjoy, like a little bit of enjoyment out of life when you're in the apocalypse, I guess. Wombat? Another motherfucking wombat coming out of nowhere? I can hear the wombat. There's another dead person down there. That's a good place to sleep. There's a bat and everything. It's another... No, it's just straight up wolf right there. That's what that looked like, I think. Oh, and you're getting your arrow whack. Wow. This looks gorgeous and cool as fuck. More wombats running away. Oh, there's a big wombat. There's a big wombat. Oh, no, 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 no. Get out, get away from me, wombat motherfucker. Is this wombat the movie of the game? Is that an explosive one? That was an explosive one. Did you- why did you- what about the other gun? Oh, wow. Make him fall. Make him fall. Kick him in the face. Oh, what, fucking zip lining like a motherfucker? This is cool. He's gonna look behind and the one bat's gonna be climbing the fucking... Nope, never mind. Oh, what a friendly fucking girl right there. You just straight up saved my life. I'm into this. This game looked amazing. I would love to play that. What is it? Wombat Simulator? <laughs> fucking Jesus. Metro! Is this... This is... Yeah! Oh my god, I do know Metro. Inspired by the novels Metro... Yeah, 2013. A game for this came out very recently that did not look anywhere as fucking amazing as that one looked. This one straight up look one by Tastic. World premiere. Another one straight up. Oh, that's fucking rad. Actual in-game footage capture in 4K. We are the first. You're the first people to ever make a pyramid. The first to see the gods. The first to tame their beasts. The first to guard the soul from evil. Oh, wow. We conquered this land and built an empire. 
Who built a fucking empire in the fucking desert? But there are whispers on the wind. That was a fucking Illuminati. It's an Assassin's Creed. I knew it. I was gonna say that. Is this an actual Assassin's Creed, or just like one of those Origins spin-off games? Because this is a fucking actual Assassin's Creed. If this is an actual like 3D Assassin's Creed, then I'm interested. Because an Assassin's Creed game in an Egyptian setting is dope as fuck. Yeah, this looks like an actual Assassin's Creed game. How do you climb a fucking pyramid? I might be interested in getting back into Assassin's Creed then, because this is awesome. The bro Wait, did the Brotherhood begin in, in Egypt? What the fuck? Assassin's Creed Origins. What the fuck? That looks so fucking cool. Creative director Jean Gadon. Uh, Jean Gadon. I think I've seen this guy before. I am interested in that. I have not played Assassin's Creed since Assassin's Creed Revelations, which I didn't even beat. I only played a little bit in a friend's house. Also, the birthplace of the Assassin's Brotherhood. And I was never interested in any of the other ones because they feel like the same the shit. But for an epic the setting adventure. itself, even if it's just another Assassin's Creed game, it makes me really interested in this. And mystery at the tip of your fingers. Assassin's Creed Origins is also the story of one man, Bayek. Bayek is the last classic Mishai, Bayek, the protector of his community, an Egyptian sheriff, if you like. And his struggle against the dark forces that corrupt ancient Egypt will lead to the, the Templars of the Assassin's Brotherhood. Well, I mean, if this, this does take place in Egypt, then it must be a long ass time ago. Pushed us to rethink and expand our gameplay mechanics. That's what you always say, but it's always the same fucking shit. To a huge systemic world, more detailed and alive than ever before. So today. We are very proud to show you what the game looks like on Xbox One, Xbox One X running in 4K. <laughs> I know, it's a stupid name, come down. Just for you, Bayek is coming Some back footage? to Siwa, his hometown, to kill the fake oracle Medunamun. Anubis, the Anubis guy that we saw? Is this going to be some like actual gameplay footage? I'd love to see that. Do you knew you have a soft logo? Why? Why do you gotta reprint like that? Whoa! Does it actually look like this? It's, holy shit, this looks gorgeous. Is this game gonna be like truly open world? I don't know if they've been doing that in other games, in other Assassin's Creed games. But Assassin's Creed have always had like roads and areas that you're supposed to area. It wasn't truly open world, like a. You know, like a Horizon Zero Dawn or a, a, the new Zelda game. If this is truly open world, like all those mountains and, and like uh, sandy Siwa, areas that my home could be visited, that'd be do dope as shit. Yeah, this feels like a Sand Creed. I love this setting. It was like the original game that took played in the in the Holy Lands. Oh, and now you you have a, a fucking eagle body. This temple yeah, like, resembles a fortress. What has happened? How long were you fucking gone? They built this whole fucking fortress. Oh, I was probably already built here, but they're just occupying it. There you are, Medunamun. Classic assassination. The next masked one on my list. I might actually play this. Are they dressed like now the Egyptian gods? To tip the balance of Anubis. Cause that's kind of dope if they are. Are you climbing that? Stop it! You're you're breaking all the laws of physics. 
How does that guy not even notice you? Climbing on trees. Yeah, this was a thing in Assassin's Creed 3, if I remember correctly. Oh, some Legend of Zelda shit. <laughs> it's probably done in plenty of other games, but when I think of bow and arrow in slow motion in the air, I think Breath of the Wild. This isn't an exclusive game, definitely not, but I'm interested as fuck in this. Temple of a moon. And he's dead. And that guy's dead too. That was pretty swift. Yeah, this looks like an Assassin's Creed game, alright. I love this guy's design, like, I really do. Whatever his name was, I forgot. Bayuk or something like that. I love the idea, but once again, once I'm seeing gameplay, it feels like... Just another Assassin's Creed game in a cool setting. It is too dangerous. It will pass for now. They have bows and arrows in, in Egypt. They probably did. Guide me, Senu. These temples are rad. I wonder if these are based on real life locations. I mean, a lot of the Egyptian Empire doesn't exist anymore. What's calling me on Discord? I'm in the middle of something. Level up. Level s they have levels in the Assassin's Creed now? Oh, straight up savage that motherfucker. Oh, is that Medumadun? Or did Medumadun already die? But that was a really disappointing end to Medumadun. Classic Maduma do. Okay. This seems like Assassin's Creed fighting style still. Seems a little bit more dramatic and impactful. Like, there's a lot more oomph to the, the H hit, it seems. But it still feels like Assassin's Creed fighting style, and I ne was never too much of a fan of that. Oh, there goes Maduma do. Okay, this is a weird. What the fuck? You spent that fucking arrow! I love the aesthetic. I love the idea of climbing around these ancient Egyptian fucking architecture and shit. It's so dope. At Xbox, we've always believed in the power of games to unite us all. Today, communities of gamers not only play together, they create together and watch together. A whole new genre of games has emerged designed for both the player and the community. And with well, that was generally really interesting. New features to make these oh my god, stop. I don't care about Mixer. <laughs> this one's special. Of all the games in this genre, here is one that the world is having as much fun watching as they are playing. And I can tell you that includes many of us at Team Xbox. Rocket League? The creative Overwatch? Director of I don't know. Unknown's Battlegrounds. A Battlegrounds? Oh yeah, I've heard about this. Who designed this game together with a passionate community? Oh wait, These battleground. Yeah, I've seen. I know what this is. I've seen a lot of YouTubers play this. I've actually been interested in checking it out myself because it looks real fucking cool. Classic Brandon Green. Good afternoon, nah. everyone. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is a multiplayer battle royale where you must fight against a hundred other players to be the last one standing. Our team's focus Usually is to like the most 50, complete though. battle royale experience ever to console and deliver a great experience across all Xbox One devices. Our development is truly community driven and we owe much of our success to everyone who's given us feedback over the past year. With over 3 million PC players to date, we can't wait it's to been out for a year already? Wow. I've only been seeing it recently. To Xbox One later this year with an update for Xbox One X enhancements shipping with the final version. See you on the Battlegrounds, everyone. Was that it? Really? You're just gonna come out and be like, I'll, uh, Battlegrounds thing and it's gonna come out on the Xbox X. 
Ooh, a blue hole. That's like a sex thing, right? I don't even know what I'm going with anymore. I'm just tired. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit more about oranges, though. Like, I'm interested in the setting, but it really... Like, when it went to the fucking gameplay, it really looked like another Assassin's Creed game. <laughs> now they could have completely reinvent that franchise. I mean, it's been, it's been going on for so fucking long now. It's Battlegrounds. Yeah, I've seen a lot of this. It looks really cool. It looks really fun, as from what I've seen. I don't know if this is the same Battlegrounds that everyone's been playing or a new one. I'm not entirely sure. I don't really know anything about this franchise. I know that bridge. I've seen people holding that bridge before. How many of a store on Xbox One? Shoot those motherfuckers. Yeah, this, yeah, this is a game that I... It looks fun. Interested in playing with friends and stuff, but I would probably never play it by myself. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Hmm, that was a relevant meme. I don't either. Look at those trees. Look at these places. Look at that thing. Look at that bridge. Look at that other bridge. Look at this bridge. Look at this power plant. I've seen this area before. I don't know, this isn't interesting at all. This is a game that's been out for a while, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, are people actually interested in this? Okay, is that a fucking Assassin's Creed character there? Is there a crossover going on? What the fuck was that? <laughs> exclusive. Yeah, exclusive to the Xbox One, power to the player. Uh, I do like that they're just going from one thing to the other, though. This is exciting. And what is this? It's trying to stick together this time. Oh, is this strafe? It looks like... I don't think it's strafe, but it looks like... The strafe style. Which I heard strafe ended up being just a pretty alright... A pretty alright game. But I, I think the only thing that's similar to Strafe is uh, just the graphic style. I'm fucking Minecraft elements? I love that crafting in games has just become Minecraft elements from it. Ah, uh, it's a lot of creepy crawlies. Four player, maybe a campaign mode or something like that? Ah, gross, get it away from me. Deep Rock Galactic Danger Darkness Dwarves, Triple D. I guess quadruple D with the deep at the beginning. Exclusive. Oh, I love that. They they really took a note from PlayStation last year, where it was just game after game after game, and that was rad as fuck. What would you do if the world you knew? gone. I'd probably kill myself. All the comforts. The simple pleasures you took for Probably masturbate like a lot and then I kill myself. You protect yourself and the ones you love. Yeah, probably by killing myself. Can't even save themselves. Oh, it's not a zombie game. Yeah, I immediately knew this was not a fucking zombie game just because of the whole aspect of the variation and the way the world looked. These are tired concepts now. What the fuck? That guy was taking on like a million zombies. You know what I want? I want a zombie game that isn't a survival game. I want a zombie game where there's a guy and he's like, I'm gonna kill all the zombies. And like, he's trying to save the world. That'd be an interesting concept. That's never, I've never even seen that be explored in like a movie or a book or anything. Maybe they has. Maybe someone knows that it has. But that's something I've always thought about, like writing. Like... Like an epidemic that only happens in a specific area, and that get, then it gets closed off by like the government so it doesn't spread, or something like that. And then like there's like a certain group of people there that are just like, I'm gonna kill all the zombies and, and save this from happening. That would be rad as fuck, wouldn't it? Like that's an interesting concept. Like I could see a lot of possibilities from a from like an idea like that. Who belongs? This is, this is not something I'm interested in at all, and I don't think anyone is anymore. Zombies were like, 
fun 2012. Like a zombie game has to be really fucking good looking or really interesting story wise or have a really nice interesting concept playstyle for it to be viable these games. These days I mean, not these games. Work together to defend it. We're 40 minutes into this conference. From the terror. Just outside the walls. That looks like a fucking thing from The Last of Us. Get hungry. Cold. What risks will you take? What mistakes? Yeah. And I'm not trying to shit on this game, but I'm, I'm not interested at all. That girl got fucked. God is about to tear itself apart. Will you end the life? Wait. Or save it? Please. This is our only one, but we need everybody we've got. Oh, that girl got fucked. Oh my god, these fucking zombies are also weird looking. It's like a bloater from Left 4 Dead. I do like the splatter effects. <laughs> but why make another fucking zombie game? Jesus Christ, those big guys are terrifying. When you get in too deep and realize ah, I think it doesn't even have a map anymore. Oh, no, 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 no. That is disgusting. Oh my fucking god! Well, the gore factor made this more interesting. You're gonna climb on its back? Why? So you can stab it? What a fucking beast you are! Look at her go! Look at that other guy go! In this world of the living and the dead. How will you survive? Probably won't. Like I said, I'll probably masturbate a lot and then kill myself. Well that was that 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 had some cool scenes for a game I'll never in my life play or probably State of Decay, that's a that's a thing that I ever that was already a thing. <laughs> this is the second one. Exclusive. Never, I've heard the name before, but no, exclusive to the Xbox One. Uh fucking Power of the Player, fucking Scavenger Studios. It took me a while to read that font. Look at that guy's hands. That guy sure has hands. I like the style. <laughs> that's, that's a feat. Someone got stuck in that and then fucking just ripped it out. What a badass. Oh wow, superpowers? Two players Use. remaining. Two players remaining. There's another battleground style game. Oh, that guy got fucked. One player remaining. I wanna play for the wounded warrior. She was kind of trapped, but she used superior tactics to get herself out of there. She's gonna take the win. Let's move on to the next arena. There we're following bloody marrow. What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? But what is this that Bloody Marrow's gonna do? Getting ever closer, join that beeline, and now he's gonna cloak it up. Is he gonna walk in through the front door or what? Looks like he's gonna sneak in on the back window. Here we go. Shot in the back. That's one twice. Immortal's in trouble. Somebody from Mixer decided to chuck. Well, I like the idea, but it, the shooting wasn't very satisfying. This looks like alpha footage. Or like beta footage, I mean. I like this announcer guy. There is no one cheering right now. There is no one that cares. The Darwin Project. I get it, Darwinism. Um, that was an interesting concept, and that was a cool way of showing it. Fucking Minecraft. Uh, but like, the game didn't look all that great. 
I do like their their showmanism. Fucking Minecraft, goddammit. Do they have po is that a fucking apaka? Oh, Minecraft. Remember when this was like, well, I mean, it's, Minecraft is still huge. But remember when this was the world? Literally, the world? Is that another portal made of glass? Oh my god, they're going to an X. Is that a Nintendo Switch? Well, they just straight up showed a Nintendo Switch. Wait, unifying Minecraft? Wow, does that mean like cross platform? Please welcome. Playing through Minecraft? Brand director Lydia Winters. Is this Minecraft girl? No, it isn't. Unless she undyed her hair. Mm, Minecraft girl. Millions of Minecraft players will be able to I think this is Minecraft girl. Of their I'm not entirely sure. Time. She was the. For and anyone who doesn't know, Minecraft Girl was this YouTuber who used to make Minecraft videos, who ended up being hired by Minecraft, and then she completely quit her, like, Minecraft career, and now she just works for Mojang. I think it is here. I think it is. As part of this effort, we're excited to welcome player made skins, maps, textures, and massive community run servers into the game itself. Because we know that the amazing content you create makes Minecraft <sighs> even better. Nah, that's not true. Minecraft this sucks! Fall, Minecraft will receive a free 4K update that brings more <laughs> to the game. <laughs> oh, Minecraft in 4K. Who fucking cares? It's, it's a fucking blocky ass Jabba game. One step further. Today, we're revealing a new look for Minecraft. That we're super Dark and angsty mode. Imagine if they just revamped the entire One game and it looks completely different now. Of Xbox One X and available this fall. Let's check it out. Oh my god, who cares? It's Minecraft. Oh my god, that looks gorgeous. Uh, well, it looks like a skin, but... And it's just a pretty common one, but the lighting system looks amazing. Everything else just looks like fucking Minecraft. But the lighting system looks amazing. Makes me kinda wanna play Minecraft. Holy shit, the micro the lighting system is like, whoa! It makes, it makes me kinda wanna, like really makes me wanna play Minecraft again. It's been years. But damn, that looks gorgeous. <laughs> I don't know if we needed 4K for the light for like a lighting system expansion like this. Super duper graphics fat. Minecraft in 4K. When the Minecraft team showed me the first version of the game in 4K, I was blown away. I came Boyan in immediately. A great example of a studio that started something new and different. I cream shouted all over my phenomena. place. Phenomena. We're searching for games that are fresh, new, and in some cases familiar. That means ensuring that the biggest third-party franchises you want to play are there for you on Xbox One. Of course, you'll find these great games in the Xbox Store available for pre-order today. But bringing the biggest blockbuster franchise is just one part of the job. Oh god, please don't talk about Delivering media broad, that isn't fucking video games. Xbox, don't make the 2014 mistake, or was it 15? I don't remember. Around the world that will surprise and delight. For those of you who couldn't make it, a mixer. These next few games do just that. Starting with the game I got to play on a recent trip to Japan. Jap it's hilarious, a little crazy, and a whole lot of fun. Let's take a look at it. Okay. World premiere. Whoa, though. Those Microsoft have a like a. <laughs> no, you did not play a fucking Dragon Ball game on your way to Japan. That's such a fucking lie. A new experience awaits. Does the Xbox have like a Morpheus? You know, not a Morpheus. A PSVR. A, a fucking buy. Whatever they're called. Damn, this looks cool, but it's another fucking Dragon Ball Z game. 
Oh, wow! It's a fucking, it's an actual, like, old style, you know, 2D, well, this is 2.5D, but, like, I wasn't expecting this. This is cool. People are gonna love this shit. People love these games, and they completely got rid of the, the side-scrolling style fighting games. 4v4, like, a side-scrolling style? I've never seen that. I don't think I've ever seen that in a game before. This looks rad as fuck. I'm not gonna play it because I don't play fighting games other than Smash Brothers. But it looks fucking rad. Like I was saying, they completely got rid of this style of Dragon Ball Z games since the Tek Tenkaichi, Budokai Tenkaichi games. Where it was, uh, you know, a, a third person fighting game with the flying around and the teleporting. But Dragon Fighter C, huh? This is actually pretty dope. I'm not gonna play it, but it's, it's a cool... Another exclusive to the Xbox One, Power of the Black. I thought I was gonna say Pearl Harbor. Da 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 da. That was the Dragon Ball, not the, the fucking Full Metal Alchemist Brothers theme. I don't know, the song just reminded me of that. It looks gorgeous, whatever it is. Look at those antelopes! Hashtag Xbox A3. So far, so good. I mean, this this conference has been pretty decent. Cool games, cool things to show. Interesting graphics. I am still very interested in what the Xbox X price point is going to be. And when it releases specifically. That's a big guy right there. That's a cute girl right there. Okay. There you go. I love how everything looked like really realistic, and then the girls look fucking like anime as fuck, but then they're showing the guys there, they actually don't look as anime. But the, this just straight up looks like it doesn't look anything like the other style. I do like how she looks in nature. It looks real cool. Like the, the contrast between the really pretty anime like girls and the actual really realistic world. It's pretty dope. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Lightning Bolt. Oh, it's a fucking... Talnox from... Uh, Breath of the Wild. Stab it. Shoot it. Stab it. Shoot it. That girl has a nice butt. I saw that. That's a bird woman. Oh, wow. This, this is beginning to look pretty cool. It's an MMORPG, so I'll never in my entire life play it, but it looks cool. Black Desert! Oh, I do know Black Desert. My friend was exclusive. playing that. How was that an exclusive to the Xbox 360? My friend was playing that on the PC. How was that an exclusive? In a world where the world is no longer a world. Directed by Hideo Kojima. That looks gorgeous. This is an actual exclusive, launch exclusive, I would say. Oh, okay, I am suddenly even more interested in this. Look at this raw fury. Oh my god, that looks gorgeous. I want to play this. Oh my god, that's so fucking cool. That fucking lighting system with this pixelated. This is fucking amazing. Holy shit. The last night, huh? I want to play whatever that was. That was amazing. Amazing. Look at that. Like the blade running st style. Like aspect of the world and setting. That looked fucking amazing. Oh, I love this! I love that the guys aren't coming out and being boring. Just show me the cool fucking games! Okay. Francis Banditti. Nephew of Joseph Banditti. Another pixelated game. This one doesn't look as fucking amazing as the other one, but this one looks it's still as interesting. Makes me, uh, reminds me of not, not, not Snippet Oodles. What is the name of that? The game where 
You typed out whatever you want and, it'll, and it makes it. Whatever it's called, I don't know. Oh, is this a... Like a music uh, rhythm based game. Look at him go. I don't know, this doesn't seem like something I would be interested in, but it looks cool enough. The Artful Escape. Okay. Only on the Xbox One. Power to the player. Exclusive. Project Bane. That looks rad. This looks like some anime shit. That looks like some anime shit. What is this? Tokyo Ghoul? What is this? It looks like something I'd be interested in. Hack and slash style gameplay with some anime ass looking characters. Oh my god, incredibly anime ass looking characters. Jesus Christ. What does that guy look completely out of place compared to the animes? I do love the style. That girl is cute as hell. Code Bane. Coming 2018. Mm, interesting. Is it, is it an Xbox exclusive though? Is that what it said? We've then I'll never the play it. Meeting with creative artists and development teams. And I'm often surprised and humbled by their work. Whether it's a story that can only be born of a different land or artistic design and storytelling that in a single moment can capture your imagination and inspire. There is much to be learned by looking beyond borders. Our first party is also a place of innovation and creativity. Today, I'm excited to share with you an extended look at never before seen gameplay from Rare's shared world adventure, Sea Rare? of Thieves. Oh, it's, I was about to, I, I was literally thinking about this a couple of seconds ago. I don't think we've seen this in like two years. Maybe it was last year, but I don't think it was last year. It's the new Rare game that looked like a... And it looks really pretty now, holy shit. The joy of a new voyage far across the Sea of Thieves. Just you, the wide open world, and... Oh, well, it's not just you, she's here too. Oh, and this guy's here. But, but, but the point is, this is a shared world. Right for exploring and raiding with your fine pirate crew. Look at him! Guy go, guy go, dreaming. An upper world One Piece game like this would be rad as fuck. Possibilities with adventures skulking above and below the waves. All you have to do is jump in and up. There she goes. Few things tempt a pirate like this. It looked like an MMO, but uh, careful though. You know, like a big open world. Doesn't really have a point, kind of game. Designing it yet? Joking? That was a joke. Ah, sunken treasure. It's like a pirate performance boys. How did you know there would be breathing space here? Discoveries will be different, but however you plan on seeking your fortune, it pays to be prepared. For gigantic lumps of iron, these are surprisingly portable. Amazing workmanship. Anyway, better get them back on board while the coast is clear. There's really no sense in pushing your luck down here. Now that is not a beast you want to pick a fight with. Uh... It's impossible to take on these toothy terrors of the deep, but you're not much used to your crew bitten in two. That would be really dope if they have like mystical creatures from this. Again, this is something that looks really cool, and it, and it piques my interest, but I'll probably never play it, specifically because it's an Xbox exclusive. Oh, okay. For every ten standoff, there's a moment of celebration or shared wonder. But for now, stow your hard-earned loot and enjoy the voyage. On Devil's Ridge beneath the sands, the gold lies hidden from thieving hands. Is it just me or did this game look 
better graphically last time we saw it. I do like the fucking like the water. It looks fucking awesome. To the island shore, where you'll explore jungles and coves, cliff tops and caverns. Every region has its very own landmarks, and over time, you'll uncover hidden shortcuts, abandoned stashes, and vistas that will steal your grog-soaked breath away. That was a, that's a guy's face right there. you'll encounter people who, for whatever reason, would like to blow you into little pieces. That's pirating for you. Keep that pistol primed, because you'll also face the roaming remains of those raiders who came before you, caught short in pursuit of the <laughs> They got skellies! You completely missed, you idiot! An afterlife of fighting and troublemaking until all your bits fall off. It's what they would have wanted. Now, make sure your crewmates all have a part to play. My fucker just ate a banana. That guy just straight up got fucking Wind Waker Link. The riddle map. Seek the cursed boar shrine where there is no sky. It lies in wait for a light held high. Hmm. Right. Well, that's got to be around here somewhere. But if you have a feeling, you can always leave. That's got to be somewhere. To brace the ship for a speedy getaway. Decisions. Decisions. Ah, looks like they've sniffed out that place where there is no sky. Time to pull your resources as you plunge into the A cave, who would have guessed it? It would be easy to come a cropper in these claustrophobic caves. You don't want to wander off track. Unless, of course, you're streaming. And you'll have loads of people in the chat telling you what to do anyway. Thanks for the topical stream reference. Oh, if it isn't don't Hail Hydra. It's probably nothing. Just kids. Oh fuck yeah, this game better have fucking just get to the fucking cave in the middle of fucking nowhere. There isn't just lying around to be claimed by any old drunken bumbler. You'll need to watch out for likely locations, following your map, clues, and your instincts to make light work of each new mystery. We better see a fucking hydra here. Lantern joke there. You're welcome. Anyway, step eleven paces northwest through the gloom. Dig my chest from its tomb. Hmm. And with that, we're one step closer to payday. Then again, some of the loot in these parts has lain undisturbed for a long, long time. For like three days at least. That has to be the spot. You can practically taste the treasure. Jesus Christ, well that was easy. Double duty shovel work too. That storm outside was nipping at your heels. That is a pretty looking ass chest. A legendary trash. Wanna see that hydra? The trouble with treasure, as a rule, is that the owners really like to hang on to it. If you've got your hands full, it's up to your crew to watch your back. Watch my back, motherfuckers! I got a treasure in my hand. And while they're doing that, it's time for another strategic withdrawal with the loot. I like to call it running away. Nope, not that way. That's it. Easy now. Is this the way? Going. Almost there. Watch that next step. It's a doozy. Oh no, there's a lot of them. Now that's a rescue. Ha <laughs> ha. This is so lame. I swear to God, but I still kind of I'm enjoying it quite a bit. It's really cute. I mean, if this is available on Windows PC, then I might actually play it. Yeah, Windows 10 exclusive. I don't have Windows 10, though. Eventually, I'll have Windows 10. Shoot it! Shoot that one, too! So what was that about a Hydra? Come on, let us see it. You'll be able to turn a tidy profit by trading them in at an outpost. That's just the tiny matter of making it through this storm in one piece. Come on, where was this Hydra? Holy shit! Yep, here it comes. I think here it comes, or it's just... Uh, never mind. This is cool too, I like to see an epic battle of pirates. Guy go, guy go. Usually in my pirate uh, stories though, there's like guys throwing out gumino gumino's and shit. 
All these One Piece jokes and not enough One Piece jokes. Again, this is something that looks really cool, but I'll probably never play. Can I climb on it? Oh my god, I can jump through it? Yes! Yes! Never mind. This game just became fucking rad. Okay, this sword action looks really lame. Uh, but, that, but that whole jumping through the cannon was rad as fuck. I hope he shoots himself back with their own cannon. Oh, that's so dope! No, you idiot. No, never. This is my biggest fear. This is my biggest fear. Oh, I hate the ocean. I hate the ocean. No, 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 I hate the ocean. <laughs> Exclusive. Oh, so oh god, jumping straight to another one. I love this conference. Fudo Brito. Uh, did they show this last year? I think they did. No, I don't think they did actually. Never mind. This must be new. They had a similar looking game with a space aesthetic. Takama Dome. Okay, pre-order now. Well, they didn't show us anything. Why am I supposed to pre-order now? Why would anyone do that? Exclusive, world premiere. Exclusive on the Xbox One. Power to the player. What was that? Was that? Was that who I think it was? Yes, it was. Was it? No, it's not. I thought that was Conquer. I really thought that was going to be Conker from Conker's Bad Fur Day. Because he had the tail going on and everything. But nope, it's just a cute animal with a, with a big tail. <laughs> you straight up fucked up. You fucked up that bitch. Well, this looks pretty. This looks like a game I would definitely play. I really thought it was gonna be another Conquest Bad Fur Day the, uh, game. I was, I got really excited there for a minute because this guy straight up looks like a copycat with a different face. Looks like a Sonic OC. What the fuck is up with this Mario as music? What the fuck is up with this Mario Galaxy as music? Haha, <laughs> this looks cute! I wanna play this! Even though it's an Xbox exclusive, so I'll never get to play it. You know what came out? Yoka Lele is a game that came out recently and I didn't even play or watch any kind of like videos on it. I should play that. Look at him! Look at him fart! Look at him, look at him fart everywhere! What a farter! Oh, side scrolling stuff too? Wow. It does feel like Mario Galaxy. I'm into this a lot. What game was I playing that had ghosts that looked exactly like that? Double jumps. Rock dudes. This game looks awesome. I want it. Hopefully it felt horribly in the Xbox so it's released on the PS4. Haha. Uh -huh. Is this conference? This conference might probably end with them an announcing price point to Xbox One X. Oh, so it's God. God is literally the devil. Oh, I mean the evil guy. Super Lucky's Tale! Well, that was cute. i definitely play that. Like I said a million times already. It's a long ass conference. I wasn't expecting- I don't think I've exclusive. ever seen a conference that's two fucking hours. Oh my god, more exclusives than I'll ever get to play! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is this Cuphead? A special announcement for a thrilling game. The likes of which has never been seen before. The likes of which has been seen before. <laughs> it's gotta be Cuphead. 
God, I want to play this so badly. Too bad it's only on the Xbox One. Power to the player. God, this game looks so fucking cool. September 29th, man. Pre-order today. That was it. That's all they're showing. Cool. It's a good thing they didn't spend too much time on that because that game's been advertised for the last two fucking years or like three. I don't even know. My sense of time has Exclusive. completely drifted. So the Xbox One, power to the player. That's just, I, I, it's, it never, it was never funny. It was never funny. A sumo digital production. Staring Terry Crews as Commander Jackson. They killed the power around the world. We're gonna light it back up because this Man, is far from over. This game looks really realistic. In fact, it's only that straight up looks like Terry Crews. You. you got the talent. Now you need the tech. Today, you throw grenades. This guy's probably not gonna be doom for is he? <laughs> and he knew any voice that isn't this. <laughs> now it's time to get to work. <laughs> What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this, Terry Crews? Get out of my house. Did he just say welcome to the Asian city? Oh my god, my video is going to get copyright. The, this position. Oh, I, I love this music because I'm black. Yo, guy, go, guy, go. Dreaming, don't give it up, Luffy. Dreaming. Oh, my career. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ, just ended. I don't want it. I don't want to get copyright. Get out of here. Oh, wow, I love the music. I'm a dude. And I'm sure that this game actually doesn't look that great, to be honest. It looks really mediocre. Was that fucking frame issues right there? What is this? Will, will anyone ever fucking play this? Will literally anyone ever fucking play this? Oh, oh, trouble. There's no trouble. Double trouble. Oh, that's a good game. Knocking country double trouble. Good game. Good game. That guy's jumping. Oh, that guy's shooting. Jesus Christ, will this music stop? There's only so much talking I can do over it. Oh, I love. Is this even copyrighted? I don't even know. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob. Fucking. All those guys look the same. I'm just racist. Oh my god, with this trailer, and who cares? This game really looks really boring. Your bedroom generation. Uh, crackdown 3. There were two other ones. Well, that was something. Incredible games. Diapers creators. They show more fucking games. Ooh, that looked cool. Whatever that was. Whatever. I'm not singing over this one too. Fuck it. I'll get copyright strikes. Uh. Ooh, that looks cool. They always do say that they're like, we're gonna do 50 games, but they do like 20 of those games in a montage. That looks cool. Battle right? Never play it. Ooh, I like that character design. Surviving Mars? I love to survive Mars. A card game? A fucking Hearthstone looking game? That straight up looks like Hearthstone. Look at this guy, Observant Robocraft. Dark and Light. What a generic name for your thing, but that actually looks kind of cool. Strange Brigade. Ooh, that looks cute. I want to play that. Uh, Hello Neighbor. Oh, this game. This game looks terrifying. Okay, yes, this I want it. I look very okay. This is weird. Never mind. I actually still want to check it out. Ton of exiles. ID at Xbox. Whatever that means. <sighs> at Xbox, it's not just about finding creative artists. It's about empowering them and nurturing them, helping shine a light on their work, making it easy for them to build and share their creations. That's why the ID at Xbox program is so important to us. The what is team this again? has released over I don't think I know what it is. games on Xbox One and Windows 10 through the ID at Xbox program. 
And this is not just a milestone for the program and the independent developer community. It's a milestone for everyone who loves great games. I hope you're reminded today why it's so great to be a gamer on Xbox. Action, adventure, story, skill, surprise. These next few games bring it all together. Let's start with a game whose stylistic approach alone makes it something very special. Sorry, I completely drained you out for the last like 30 minutes. Something about a game that is like style and has, you know, cool. Okay, cool, what I wrote it. Show me the fucking game! Aurora 44, how do I, why do I know that is studio? Older than the light. It's true. The dark the is older than the light. Dawned, and we rose with this first light. This looks cool. But that light was a betrayal. Only fleet. You know, you see how they say launch exclusive because they don't know it's gonna be an exclusive forever. It'll just be an exclusive on launch. They always do this. In its wake, the night returns to claim us. These people don't have faces. I think I've seen this game before. Yeah, they announced this years. Maybe last year? I don't know if it was years back, but I remember it. I remember the no face people. It's a, it's a, it's a man, man. This rebirth will end our wandering. Yeah, I remember this game looking pretty cool last time. No, I don't think they showed anything. It's looking cooler now. I like giant baddies. I'd like to see how this plays out. Probably mo Oh my god, that guy got fucked. That guy got fucked too. Yeah, I remember this. I'm pretty sure they showed this before. Ashen. World premiere. Jesus Christ, all these fucking like non-interruptions. This is awesome. Square Enix, what is this? A Final Fantasy skateboard. <laughs> Life is strange? Was Life is Strange? I don't think Life is Strange was, was Square Enix, was it? Maybe it was published by them? This looks very Life is Strange. Teenager smoking! Makes them cool, right? I feel That very much looks like Alex from Life is Strange. Xbox. Oh, is this just Life is Strange? No, this isn't Life is Strange. I don't remember any of this from Life is Strange. Is it? Yeah, it is. Blackwell. That's what it was called there, right? No? Yes? I don't know. I don't remember any of this from Life is Strange. Rachel, that was a name from Life is Strange, but none of these, none of this looks familiar at all. Is it like a sequel? It said Enhance. Episode, Life is Strange Before the Storm, huh? Wow, it's a, like a prequel. That is a, really interesting, huh? Vice President of Creative. Michael De Platter. Wonder what that's gonna be like because the game I don't think it left any room for a fucking anything, you know? You me. You I really need to play Shadow of Murder. Shadow of Murder is fu looks fucking rad as shit. Shut the fuck up, our check. No one cares. <laughs> this game also looks pretty rad. I own Shadow of Murder, I'm pretty sure, on Steam. I haven't played it though. I've had enough of your mouth, bruise. So now I'm gonna kill you. 
for all these orcs to see. Always said you were an optimist. Know what that is, mate? It's about sizing up a situation that's bloody impossible and saying, yeah, all right, I'll have a go. I'm exactly the same way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy is a million times bigger than you. You straight up, no! You had you were so cocky. What the fuck? I like him. Oh, it's the recruitment system. Apparently, in this game. We introduced a way to create unique personal stories for every player. Yeah, let them explain it. I was about to explain it, but whatever. Two new features we're really excited about are forging an army of followers and nemesis fortresses. Here, we use the Ring of Power and recruit this Olog, Bruce the Chopper, to expand our army. Then, we're going to assault a fortress controlled by one of Sauron's overlords. Okay, he didn't do a really good job of explaining it, but what Shadow Mortar had going for it, other than its epic, like, action, uh, you know, finding mechanics and all that shit and cool story and stuff, was they had this thing called the Nemesis System, where depending on who you defeat or who defeats you, these like nobody enemies, random. These random enemies would become like, would start leveling up and become characters, and they were all randomly generated. There would be assets, and they would take like a random voice from like the cloud of uh, of assets and put it to each thing. So each person had a different, like, completely different style. Some, like they like let's say you you fought fucking Jacob. I don't know why Jacob. Some guys Jacob could be completely different from some other guys Jacob. We know it's the same name. Uh, they might look similar. They, but like depending on what they do you do to them they'll change if you shoot them in the eye next time you encounter them They'll have like an eye patch in their eye and shit like that and and stuff like that and and in peons Same thing really in results me ripping spines out which I like to do anyway So either way's a win a fine addition to our army name's Bruce from here on out I will be your shadow no one gets to you without my say so Don't worry about my enemies they will all follow eventually. You want to plant your flag in uh, Mordor, you'll need to do it deep. There's a fortress nearby. They say it's ruled by a two-headed troll big as a mountain and deadly smart. Which, well, I guess he'd have to be given the two heads. You take him down, you'll send a message to Sauron and get yourself some nice new digs as part of the bargain. I'm not going to do this alone. Gather your troops. We'll do. Ooh, just make sure you let me pop his heads off, won't ya? <laughs> yeah, but the thing about Shadow War is that they added the same kind of nemesis system, but to allies. Now your allies will be like completely, like differently randomly generated, unique to your, to your game. Uh, they'll like change depending on what happens in your story. I don't know anything about Lord of the Rings, and I wish I did, but... Like, this game just looks so fucking rad. Like, I want to play it real fucking badly. See, this guy? Yeah, this guy right here survived an encounter with, with the character before, so now he's a different, more powerful character. Because he, like, survived and leveled up. You created the machine. No! So we've just been ambushed by the machine. He's tracked us across Mordor seeking vengeance. He's one of the seven new oh, orc tribes we've added. The machine will grind you to paste. I hate big things. Cool, finally. <laughs> Instead of killing the machine, we'll dominate him so we can take advantage of his abilities during the fortress assault. You take out the overlord. But before we charge headfirst into battle, we should plan our attack and select our followers.
Feral Bastion. Is that a new skin for the Overwatch character? Usually I'd be complaining about this, them showing this in their conference, because it's not an Xbox exclusive or anything along those lines. But they've shown so many cool things so far that I don't really care. I'm interested in Life is Strange Before the Dawn. That looks cool. I was not expecting that at all. Yeah, this game just looks. These games just look so cool. I really want to play them. I own Shadow of Mortar. I'm definitely gonna do that at one point. I'll get to it. I have many games to fucking play. So many fucking games! And the fact that they're doing this, like, I don't really care that they're showing ki games that are not exclusive. Even though they're saying everything is exclusive to the Xbox One power of the player. Oh, this guy's piano playing skills are exclusive. That makes sense. This is already very pretty. Fucking lemurs. It looks straight up like the ones from uh, Avatar. Remember Momo? I remember Momo. That's a big spider. Ew, that big spider has weird things on it. This is really pretty, but I wonder what kind of game it is. Question about the mix pod giveaway? Go to that place. That is one sad fucking owl. I like this music and I like the visuals, but I have no idea what I'm looking at. That is a big bird over there. <laughs> oh, that was two big birds that are dead now, I guess. And now there's like a little goblin man next to him, a little spirit man. That is a lot of bird man that died. <laughs> Press F to salute, or X I guess. Ori, another Ori game, and the Will of the Wisp. Hmm, never played the first game, I heard it was not that great. The new journey begins. Ori affirms my belief in the beauty, artistry, and heart within the art of gaming. We believe that games, like books, movies, and music, should be celebrated and enjoyed by countless generations. We're passionate about I believe preserving that too. and celebrating the games you own, the classics of the past, and the genres you love to play. I That's think they why should two be. years ago we launched the Xbox backward compatibility program to bring that I heard wasn't Xbox that good. 360 games to your Xbox One. But at least it We've worked. I heard the PS4's backward, backward compatibility movement Today, they were trying to do they didn't work at all. Oh, apparently, I'm not entirely sure. Titles. And over half of Xbox One gamers have played a backward compatible game. But I've heard your feedback and you want more. Today, Give us more! I'm pleased to announce an exciting expansion to the program. Give us more! Oh wow, original Xbox games? <laughs> oh 
Oh, I believe the Xbox 360 thing worked. The the console itself then couldn't actually read the games, but you put it in your game, and the game and the console was like, oh, you have this game, and then it just downloads it from the cloud instead of actually running it from the disc. Including. I love you, Phil. That I'm asked about often by the community, Crimson Skies. I don't know what that is, but damn, do I love that game. No, I don't. Like the Xbox that is a weird looking helicopter. OG games or plane, I mean. Better and play better across the Xbox One family. We'll have more to share about this program when it launches later this year. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm proud it is a long ass conference, Jesus Christ. Available today on Xbox One. All of them play. will benefit from the performance and power when you play them on Xbox One X. But we won't stop there. I'm excited to announce that if you own Gears of War 4, Forza Horizon 3, Killer Instinct, Halo Wars 2, or Minecraft, we'll I thought Killer Instinct was free. 4K updates to these titles for free. Uh, okay, cool. Minecraft. <laughs> I love my 4K Minecraft. And we already have over 30 titles from our third-party partners that are planning to provide free updates as part of our Xbox One X Enhanced program. Injustice 2, huh? Titles. Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy 15. Final Fantasy XB. Resident Evil 7. Resident Tom Evil. Tom Ghost Recon Wildlands. Ghost Recon. I am so you. fucking bored. No, well, I'm not bored. I'm actually just tired of shit. It's a long ass conference. Library of titles I've been sitting for like almost two hours straight here. Get better on Xbox One X. Power to the player. Today. We showcase some of the world's greatest creators with a lineup of different it's types of It's a pretty good conference. It's a pretty damn good conference. I don't think anything really blew my fucking mind, but there were a lot of really good looking games, like that fucking pixel game. This game looked cool. Uh, pirate game looked cool, but I'll never play it. 42 games, including 22 fucking console exclusivity on Xbox One. I'm really wondering about that new Life is Strange game. And you're also going to be able to play all of the biggest cross-platform blockbusters on Xbox One. And every game will play great across the Xbox One family. And on Xbox One X runs every single game you Tell us about the Xbox One X. Better. I want to know how much it is. How much it's worth. So if you haven't joined the Xbox One family, now's the time. This week, you'll find Xbox One S available in the U.S. for $249. Okay, and November okay. November 7th, we'll begin worldwide November rollout 7th? of Xbox One X, the world's most powerful console at $499. Four Four nine, 500 fucking dollars. Wow. Not touching that ever in my life. Holy One shit, that is a lot of money. We close today's show by looking to the future with a really great partner. They've been with us from the earliest days of Project Scorpio. From the bur and the bur earliest incredible days. Incredible game that takes advantage of the power and performance of the Xbox One family and the new Xbox One X. Please Xbox welcome One. Patrick Sutherland, Executive Vice President, EA Worldwide Studios. Please don't end this with fucking sports games. I'll fucking kill myself. Isn't this the rich asshole from yesterday? The lifeblood of our industry. Oh, this is Anthem. They couldn't show Anthem. They talked about this last time in the A conference that I did watch, which was really sad, by the way. And that's okay. It's all a part of the creative process, and it's worth it because when you find something special. Remember when Konami used to have a conference? So sad to think about. Introducing players to a brand new world, and as a player. There's no better feeling than losing yourself in a completely new experience. Our developers at Bioware have been creating something truly special. A huge open world that is lush, savage, mysterious, and ever- Savage! Filled with interesting characters and new types of gameplay you'll enjoy with your friends for years to come. This is what's possible when we take an extraordinary vision and combine it with the latest technologies and hardware. Amazing concepts become 
possible. Great ideas. Better be fucking amazing to end the fucking conference on. So here we are. And we are so excited to share this with all of you. I'm so excited. On the team at Bioware, let's see what this game looks like running on an Xbox One X. Here's John Warner from Bioware to show you Anthem. Okay. I'm excited to see this. It's only like less than 10 minutes left in this conference. Everything you are about to see is captured in a real Warner, game. Game director for Anthem. Here is the world premiere of Anthem's gameplay. Hey. Well, already looks fucking gorgeous, but what kind of game is it? First person shooter, first person booter, big fucking mechs that look straight out of Horizon Zero Dawn. And the girl there who just looked at you and tried to sell you some weed. Praxley. Listen. I'm a girl. There's trouble. Big trouble. What did you do? <sighs> Mistake. I hired some people. They weren't freelancers. I know. They said they could handle it. And the price was right. I thought maybe. Now price was right. right. It was stupid. I'm sorry. But they're still out there. Somewhere. If you could just bring them back. Anything you need. I'm not gonna edit this down. I'm too fucking lazy for that shit. In the world I think I said that at the beginning, but I'm not going to at all. The heroes who leave the safety of the walls of Port Tarsus to explore the unknown. Some fucking, well, fucking Attack on Titan shit. As they head out on an expedition. Hey, Paul. You ready to go? I'm just grabbing some supplies. Just for ready. What are you gonna use? How do I even get on that? Go with the Colossus. I'm gonna use my Ranger. I thought I was a, I thought I was a girl. I am a girl. A really angry one of that. Every this looks an array cool. Of exosuits we call oh, jobs. that is rad Suits looking over there. Superhuman capabilities. And are heavily customizable so they look and play how you want. Cool. Bam. Oh, which just Iron Man himself in. Nice, you've got a mortar equipped. Yeah, I got it on the weekend. You lead the way, I'll follow. Oh my god, this game looks fucking rad. This is an Xbox exclusive? It better not be, because this game looks fucking cool as shit. This is a vast this open is world you explore with your friends. Each job with my friends. has its own unique play style. The Ranger is balanced in all purpose. While the Colossus is a I wonder how many there are then. Alright. Let's see what's up here. That's probably why the character seems kind of bland, because everyone gets like customizable characters probably. The world of Anthem is hostile and threats can come from any direction. This looks so fucking cool. Yeah, he seems like a problem for another day. Ah! Get away from me. I'll go low. You flank. Water? That's not possible. Those are two different technologies. Discovery bonus, 25 EXP. Okay. As far as battling systems go, it looks pretty generic, but the world and the movement style looks so fucking cool, and that was rad. Have you been in there yet? I haven't. Oh, we should do that later with Kim. <laughs> yeah, you could use the XP. Yeah, it sounds like you could use the XP. I thought those were the characters themselves talking, but this is like Boy Scum kind of thing. With your friends! I don't want to play this all alone! Look at that guy go! This looks so cool!
You can equip your javelin exosuit. I want this to have a story though. I don't want this just to be a explore game with friends. Though that is cool. I mean even if it is just that, it's still pretty fucking cool. I wanted to have an end is what I'm getting at. I don't like open worlds like this that it's just like you do your thing and that's the game. Cause that gets boring too fast. When there's like an actual goal then it's cooler. Well, you just murder a million people. That's a really lame con. There's a bunch more coming in. Okay, I'll get this round. You missed every shot there, buddy. Oh my god, you're gonna throw some tor torpedoes? That is kind of rad, I'm not gonna lie. Like I'll know what Jarrah's rap is when I get it. World events like shaper storms are dynamic, and pull you off the beaten path with the promise of new stories to discover. Oh, shaper storm incoming. Okay, actually, let's get some more people. Hold on a sec. Hey, Kim. Hey, what's happening? Kim's a guy. I'm right behind you. I like Sandra's armor. Made me a cool ninja. That's all I want. Like I just explored the world. Oh my god, those are so cool. This looks so fucking rad, dude. Jesus Christ, no wonder they ended it with this. Better not be an Xbox exclusive, because I am very interested in playing this. Maybe with some friends. Maybe by myself. Maybe make a video about it. Or two. Or seven. Oh my god, that's so rad! That girl just flies like that? Like some anime character? Holy shit. That, I'm actually gonna give that one clap. I don't know if that's an Xbox exclusive. It better not be because I want to play it real bad. Come into the Xbox One store and I don't, it doesn't say anything about exclusivity. And knowing Xbox, they would probably be like, it's exclusive. And they were a montage? I love me some feel true excitement. I love cars. Feel true suspense. I love generic zombie stories. Feel true acceleration. I'm coming for you. You know what? I'm gonna use this cool montage segment. It doesn't seem to be like that cool of a montage. To just talk about my thoughts about this conference. Overall, pretty damn fucking good. They took a note from PlayStation from last year. No bullshit. Well, there was some. But, like, not a lot of bullshit talking. Just game after game after game of cool content. Lots of cool games that I'd be interested in. A lot of them that I was just like, meh. But... Like, there were plenty that I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know how many of them are true Xbox exclusives, but overall, as the conference goes, not knowing how many games are... Like, this this didn't make me want to buy an Xbox at all. So, there's that. But, as far as the spectacle goes, a lot of these games look cool as shit. A lot of the ones that I do want to play, like Anthem here, or maybe Assassin's Creed Origins, because it looks so unique. Even though when they actually show the gameplay, they didn't look that unique from the other ones. That stuff I know will be released on the PlayStation and, you know, computer and shit, on the PC. So, overall, really good fucking conference. Thank you for watching the Xbox 383 briefing. Join us at the world exclusive of Sea of Thieves host room at Mixer. I'm not fucking doing that. So, thank you all for watching. I've been CL, and I hope you have a good day. Pretty good confidence. I can't I'm wait for tomorrow's Sony one, and then Nintendo after that on the next thing. I'll probably be uploading this video tomorrow while the PlayStation 4 one is coming out, so... Thank you for watching. Have a good day.